Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I am Suma from Decreate Academy. So here in this video, I'll show you how to create this awesome landing page portion using Elementor Pro Page Builder. So here you can see this is the image carousel and this is image changing. If I am hovering on it, you can see that this is change, not changing. This is stoppable. So if you are not hovering that, you can change will. You can also manually change it here by clicking on here. I will show you how to create this logo transparent header menu and this is the text and this is paragraphs and these buttons. I know this is the basics but the twist is that the buttons and this is the social media icons it will vertically aligned so basically we have a lot of fun of creating this website so without any wasting any time let's get started to creating the website at first i'm going to the elementor page and deleting all the sections and the blocks so deleting all this click this and all delete then gonna update this and reload this page again you can see here it will blank and then start it from scratch so at first i am creating the menu to create the menu at first i am creating the add new section then i have to choose two columns then i am reducing the size to 20 22 pixel then click on this then place on the image here and choose image i am clicking the choosing the logo here this on and click on the plus icon then i am choosing a nav menu so this elementor pro features you have, you have not element pro please purchasing it and then use again so this is the elementor pro features and this is the nav menu and i am aligning left this sorry right i am using it right then that's all right fine so then i am creating this page again select the structure and i am click on this full structure then click on the section to edit the section click on the three dot button and then we did 12 by 80 pixel then go to the style tab and background type will be image and this i am choosing this image then you can see here then click on the plus icon again place inner section in between it then reducing it again 22 pixel and placing the image here and then again placing the menu here then delete this section you can see here this is transparent menu fine then i am placing one more section so i am placing this section to inner section and then this is so that is the sections and click on it then go to the advanced tab uh, sorry click on this then I'm placing one heading click on it then I'm writing new series then this go to the advanced tab unbind this padding then left 10 pixel and style tab and I'm choosing pure white color typography will be poppins and then size will be 16 pixel and then transform will be uppercase then style will be italic and this is so small so I'm writing 20 pixel it's fine and I am edit this inner, inner section and uh, giving the padding to top to 100 pixel it's fine then click on it then again click on the ruby speak button and i am placing a white one header click on it then i'm writing port rocker then click on the style and pure i'm choosing pure white then type of will be poppins you can see here and then transform will be uppercase and the size size will be 85 it's fine then go to the advanced tab unbind this padding left is 10 pixel that's it then i am placing one text editor then click on it just delete it at this and then go to the style tab i am choosing pure white color typography will be again paints 
and the size will be 20 pixel it's too big so i am reducing it to 16 pixel that's fine then click on the advanced tab and unbind this margin and top i am reducing to sorry i am reducing to 15 pixel that's it and click on the headings and go to the first step unbind the padding sorry unbind this margin again then click on the margin that's also 15 pixel that's fine click on the text editor again and unbind this padding and left is 10 pixel that's fine then i am placing one image so placing this image again sorry this is not image i am creating this media carcel so i am creating media media carcel this is the media carcel placing it here and then deleting it i am clicking on the choosing the images so this is the images and click on it again choose the images and then again choose the images that's it then click on it effect is fade then height will be 500 pixel 500 500 is fine right when is fine then I am clicking on additional options and clicking on arrows so I'm the arrows is fine then I am pagination is creating this none and then I am auto play speed is only 2000 and then transition duration is fine then updating it that what is creating then that's it this is the and then click on it go to the advanced tab and padding only 15 pix 50 pixel then update it then reload this page again you can see here this is fine now and this is not color changing you can see here this is also late so i am clicking on it again and then go to the additional options and transition duration will be only 200 then you can see this is color changing so fast and then update it look this page again you can see here this is changing but even hovering it but you can stop so that's it then we have to create one here divider so click on the ruby speed button and this is the divider so i'm placing it here and then this is the width i am giving it to only 25 pixel sorry 100 giving it 100 then go to the style tab and i'm choosing white color pure white then white will be 2 it's fine and this is i'm choosing 120 so it's look more fine that's it then update it and then again text editor i'm placing the text editor again the text editor and copying it and again paste it here and go to the style tab i am choosing white color and go to the advanced tab and unlink the padding left is 10 pixel and then go to the style tab again typography will be opens that's it fine then choosing the font size to 16 pixel that's good if i will close this so it will looks click on it then go to the advanced tab and unlink the padding and left is 10 pixel that's it then update it then reload this page you can see here this scheme and then click on this go to the advanced tab unbind this padding and this is 25 pixel minus 25 pixel because it will look more better you can see this is the difference because we will have placed one button here that's why then I click on the rubik's button and type button here and placing the button here then click on it and then go to the advanced tab and giving the one left pixel and then click on it go to the style tab and typography will be again pop-ins 
and then size is 16 pixel weight is fine and then uppercase and we have nothing to change then click on it again and text color will be pure white and background type background type will be transparent that's it then border type will be solid and white will be 2 pixel and color will be this color this is the color I am pasting it here you can see then border radius will be 35 pixel that's it it's fine then if I hover on the button it, it can nothing change but we have to change it so background type will be this color if I click hover on it you can see here but it is not fine looking so I am placing one more things so this is the button color it will look more fine then update it so don't forget to update this update this page because it lost more creativity so that's it and then this is the text and go to the advanced tab and then bottom and reduce this button size to 20 then update it if I am reloading this page you can see here the button is came and this is the page and we have to create now we have to create this arrows to this one this location in this location we have to place this location and giving the borders so to create this click on this then just go to the advanced tab and click on custom CSS and I am giving it the giving the CSS code to the description so you can just copy it and paste it here copy it then paste it here you can see here this is came then again this is the uh, left button so again I am choosing a right just copying it and paste it here if you manually write this so this is the page this is and I am zooming it so I am increase the font size that you can write and screenshot this so if you want to manually write this that's it and this is the text so you can write then I have to menu add n one social media icons so I have to create social media icons this is social media icons social icons then place it here then go to the style tab sorry content then choosing the circle and go to the style tab creating custom color and secondary color will be white and then primary color will be nothing that's it then if I'm hovering it then the hover animation will be string if I'm hovering it you can see here that's it and then secondary color will be this color sorry I am copying this color sorry copying this and then secondary color will be this color if you are hovering on it you can see here this change and then I am reducing this because it's too much high that's it it's fine then update it just update it and go to the advanced tab and this custom CSS I am reading some circle one more again custom CSS codes so to create this I am also giving the description box this is some custom CSS codes to before create this we have to just copy it and this is the ID so we have to add the one CSS ID go to the advanced settings and then this is CSS ID just paste it here just you have to copy this one this text not the hash or not the brackets so this text copy it and paste it here then go to the custom CSS and copy all the things then just go to this and paste it here you can see this is change but you cannot see here if I am updating it and reloading this page again you can see this is came particular airlines so you can see here if I click on it this is shrink over animation and this arrow if I am changing the headphones color 
I'm if I'm uh, want to manually so if I click on it it's changing then if I have not want to this so it will automatically change this color then we have to customize the menu so to customize it then click on it then again style tab this is basic I know but I am showing you then create this opt-in font then click on this and size will be 16 pixel that's fine and transform will be uppercase and pure white color will be pure white that's it if I'm working on it this is, you can see here this is the underline grand, green so this text color text color will be main white pointer color will be no I am not wanting I don't want a pointer so to disable this then this is the pointer switching underline and then none you can see here the pointer will go on then click on the hover effect and then text color will be this color anything you want but I am choosing this that's it you can see if I am hovering on it you can see here this is changing then just update it and loading this page again you can see here this is the logo this is the menu and this is the social icons and this is headphones pictures automatically changeable color so and this buttons and text and this if you like this video then comment on below the how we did the video and if you want more video like this elementary pages interesting features and tricks and tips so follow this page channel and subscribe this channel and see you in the next video till then bye bye take care and thanks for watching